Welcome back to the CD Genomics Next Generation Sequencing video series. In this video, you will learn what epigenetics modifications are and how to profile epigenetics modifications using next generation sequencing approaches. This video has three parts, epigenomics basics, DNA methylation, and histone modification. Let's begin with a brief introduction of epigenetics. Epigenetics can be used to explain the phenomena that cannot be explained by genetics, such as the differences between monozygotic twins that are considered to be genetically identical. Epigenetics is the study of changes in organisms caused by modification of gene expression rather than the alternation of the genetic code itself. Epigenetic modifications can be classified into DNA methylation and histone modification. These modifications can influence gene accessibility to DNA binding and regulatory proteins, ultimately altering transcription patterns. DNA methylation occurs on the 5C position of cytosine residuals to yield 5-methylcytidine. In vertebrate, this occurs almost exclusively in CPG sites, although non-CPG methylation does occur in embryonic stem cells of vertebrates or in plants. DNA methylation is a robust transcriptional repressor. It can silence transposable elements or regulate splicing and suppressed activity of the highly transcribed genes. DNA methylation plays a role in cell differentiation and embryonic development. DNA methylation also associates with silencing histone modifications, leading to chromatin compaction and gene repression. Bisulfite sequencing is a next-generation sequencing-based method that examines DNA methylation through bisulfite conversion, which converts unmethylated cytosine to uracil while methylated cytosine residuals remain unmodified. The treated sample is then subjected to purification and library amplification, followed by deep sequencing and data analysis. The analysis of the genome-wide methylation status can also be achieved by sequencing mean-deep libraries. DNA is fragmented by sonification, indexed with adapters, followed by incubation with NT5MC antibody bound to magnetic beads. After immunoprecipitation, purification, and amplification, MEDIP libraries are subjected to next-generation sequencing for the profiling of DNA methylation. Canonical nucleosomes are octomers that contain of H2A, H2B, H3, and H4 histone proteins. The predominant histone modifications include acetylation, methylation, phosphorylation, ubiquitination, and somylation, with different combinations of modifications within a single nucleosome. Histone modifications may affect chromatin accessibility and gene expression. Chromatin immunoprecipitation, or CHIP, can be used to determine the presence of a specific histone modification. CHIP sequencing that combines CHIP with massively parallel DNA sequencing to profile histone modifications is also known as histone chip -sick. In a CHIP experiment, the DNA binding protein is cross-linked to DNA, and a chromatin is sheared into 200 to 600 BP fragments. An antibody specific to the protein of interest is used for immunoprecipitation. Subsequently, the cross-links are reversed and the DNA is released. Library preparation consists of end repair, adapter ligation, and library amplification. Finally, qualified libraries are subject to deep sequencing and data analysis. Thanks for watching. If you want more information on these sequencing methods, please visit our website at 3w.cd-genomics.com. We are more than happy to help.